Hello everybody! We are doing some last minute casting for the Randallorians vs. Nui match. So we are just about ready. I'm gonna let them know that I'm good to go. And then we will get on into the uh, briefing room. Randalorians picked um, Empire first for their game. So Niwi will be flying on NR. The map is Yavin. So it should be good times. Alright, here we go. So as I said, Randalorians are on NR. I mean Empire first. Got Disco, Hobbs, Spoon, Chewy, and Brandon already in rearing to go. Chewy fixing his gloves, cause you can never get those gloves the size you need them on the Empire side. So on, okay, Niwi's leaving. There must be something wrong, some kind of technical difficulty going on on the Niwi side. So that is unfortunate. We'll go back to the cat view until we figure out what's going on. Rip, one of them had an internet failure. So I guess we'll have to get the lobby set back up. After, because I think Randallarian started dropping as well. Let me double check. Yeah, the lobby's gone, so they'll have to remake it. Unfortunate technical difficulties there. Looks like the lobby's just about to go up. Same password. Yeah, there it is. Joining as a spectator. And then while we're waiting, I should do predictions. So game one winners, Randos or Siren. Do a five minute prediction. So, get your votes in so you can win some lovely, lovely fishes. And then we'll just wait for everybody to get in. Everybody's just about in. Just waiting on one last person. So, who will win? Earlier today, Randalorians went up against Cavern Angels Blue on Xavian, and Cavern Angels Blue happened to take that one 2 0. So, will Randalorians come back and say, okay, we don't want to get 2 0 anymore? We want a 2 0 Siren. Or will Siren take this game from Randos, or will it be a 2-1 split? Either way, this should be a really interesting game. Randos are ready, but still waiting on one other person to join the lobby. Probably the one who had internet issues. So while they get that sorted... I'll go ahead and just show some commercials. So we'll be right back after this short break. Nope. 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 Bruh. 
Wait, 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 wait. Target acquired. Target lost. Tactical nuke incoming! I'm a fire in my labor! It looks like they're finally ready, so we're cutting the video short, and we're going back into the briefing room. So once again, we've got Randallorians on Empire. There's Chewie doing his cheers again. And then... <laughs> you knew you could count on him. He's glove flexing. Let's see... Everybody looks okay on Siren. Are they gonna do any synchronized emotes? No, not so much synchronized, but they're flexing and playing the sax. The orange helmet lives, yes. Me, we feeling good? Back to Chewy, who is. Continuing to cheer on his team. Get the hype going. And Niwi over here. In their coordinated uniforms. About to fly out to Yavin. Now Niwi is known for... Liking the PK, they run, they tend to run the A wing, B wing combo for PK. And it's inter I'm interested to see how uh, Randalorians are going to react to that. They played against them before, so we'll see if they make any new adjustments to what their game plan is. But on NR, we have. Autumn in the A-Wing, Sidestack Farm, JC Standard Support, Ska in his Torp B-Wing, Hister in the Farm. Then we've got Spoon in the Standard Defender, Chewy Standard Farm, Brandon Standard Farm, Hobbs Standard Reaper, and Disco Standard Farm. Disco starting to take... Wait, no, he's not Standard Farm, he's got... He's got a meme beam, and Disco's also almost dead. Disco dies pretty kind of instantly, and Randos lose the open, which is very unfortunate. So it looks like Niwi is not doing damage yet. Side stack is PKing instead of going in to do damage. Is anyone going in? JC is in. The marks aren't up yet. He probably used them in the open and it didn't have them up. Scott is trying to get the shields down. Marks finally go out. Farm is coming in for Randos. Oh, they got another kill on Hobbs. And Brandon is very low. Are they gonna go after Brandon? Nope. Scott is very low too. Chewie goes down. This is not good for Randalorians. They had three deaths in this first defense. Uh, two of which were bombers. Uh, Brandon is coming. Looks like they're going for a triple bomber. Oh my gosh, Boon died too. What is going on? What is happening on the Randalorian side? How are they dying? This goes out. Trying to defend. Trying to kill Autumn. He gets reset, reset by Hobbs. Brandon's farming. Chewie's also farming. Alright, the morale is almost there. 
Uh, Navy Siren did manage to get it out of phase throughout all that. I have no idea what happened on the Randalorian side. But Ska is falling back. Actually, no, he's about to take this oop for Niwi. Cruiser's at two. Did the Torp go in? Will he? Yep, there it goes. There's the oop. Morale is now at half. Uh, they've almost just about flipped. And uh, there's not much damage yet on the uh, Nebulon. But it's coming in. They might manage to get this to half. Probably not. But they've got three bombers on the field, so that should help a little bit with uh, farm. Especially if one of them gets targeted by the A wing or the B wing, that'll you can't box all of them out. <laughs> all three bombers, which I assume is the point. So Niwi are pretty far ahead currently. Kitster shooting at Hobbs on his way back. Now they're getting damage in on Delta, which is the last standing Nebulon B for, I mean, cruiser for the Empire. Morale is almost at half. Is anybody working the Raider? Disco's really low. He's the one who's working the Raider. Looks like he's in standard lasers. He's taking too much damage. Was that? That might have been Autumn. Autumn is looking at Chewie now. Chewie at half. Where is Hobbs? Hobbs is looking at Chewie. Got the resupply out. He m throws marks out. The raider's almost down. I don't think anybody's shooting the raider. They probably were going to let it blow through so they can get there it goes and they just need a pack left and they can go in on offense. Now they got a whole lot to work on because Niwi is now on the ISD trying to kill the Jen, and Randalorian still have two cruisers to go through. Niwi does manage to kill one of the Jens. Will they get out safely? Sky is really low. But it looks like he's okay for now. Side stack got dunked, it looked like. Looks like he's okay, because they've only got the one defender, so there's not much follow up. It took a little while for the farm to start coming in for Niwi because they were all caught at the ISD. So Randos look like they are trying to get... So we're trying to take advantage of this. They will 100% get Delta Oopable. Uh, everybody's still low on the Randalorian side. Farm is coming in pretty slow for Niwi. But... Uh, are they thinking about pushing through? Yeah, you might as well just push through. Yeah. To give them more time to get the next Nebulon down. Brandon's taking damage as well. Hobbs is docking. So the, bom the triple bombers are, are going to have to be extremely careful. Brandon sitting there taking the rockets from Autumn goes down. Disco, I think, docked. Hobbs finally respawned and got a reset to Chewy. This is going to be rough for them to if if they get the marks on this and if is is Spoon still out? Oh, Spoon is completely out of oxes. He's flying back too. That is highly unfortunate. So they're not going to be able to get this oop. Oh, and Spoon's in an Ion Defender too, so he can't exactly help with damage anyways. He's going for the Raider to get that stripped. 
which means that Niwi are probably going to get their damage in uncontested for a bit. They've got a good amount of morale. And the farm is kind of slowly coming in. It's Although it's nearly at half. Niwi's got the ISD down to almost half. Morale is now at half. And if if the farm picks up, which it should on Yavin, they should be. Yeah, there goes the raider. They have to defend this now. Uh, who's going to defend though? They've got an eye on defender, and Disco is in a rotary bomber. He looks like he's defending. Is he going to dock and switch to a different shell? Well, the ISD's at three, so there's probably no saving that. Yep. That was just an unfortunate turn of events for Randalorians right off the bat. But congratulations to Niwi for taking advantage of that. So Niwi takes game number one. Let's look at the scoreboard. Got 32 AI on Kitter, 68,000 cap ship damage. One kill for him as well. Scott with two kills, 76,000 cap ships. Side stack with one kill, 21, 21 AI and 51,000 cap ship. Autumn two kills. And he, Autumn did a little bit of damage in the A wing, 11,000. No kills on the rando side, but that's kind of understandable since they came out in a triple bomber ion defender. Uh, 50 AI on Brandon, very nice. 30 on Chewie, 64,000 capture for Brandon, 44 for Chewie, 49 for Disco, who was running the Meme Beam setup. So, now we will see what happens in game number two. So let me get the predictions. Choose outcome, siren. And then we'll do up another prediction for game two. Who will win, siren or randos? So. Let's see... I think they're still getting the lobby set up. So, and, oh, I should fix the overlays as well. So, Niwi will be on Empire this time, and Randos would be on the New Republic. Niwi has a score. Alright, so the lobby's up. Let me join that. And then, as soon as the rest of the teams join the lobby, we will get underway. So, they've only got one more person they're waiting on, and then they'll be ready to get everything done. I think the fact that they got a lot of very, like, I don't know what happened, because I wasn't looking at the correct players, but they, Rando, three of Randos died on that first defense like immediately somehow and I don't know how that happened so that was incredibly unfortunate and then they decided to switch to the triple bomber ion defender to probably because they knew we like to split bombers I think so maybe they figured that having the third bomber out there means they will always have somebody farming regardless of if they split
The only thing is that they didn't really have a lot of PK pressure on the field after doing that, and so they couldn't really defend their flagship very well. But props to Randos for trying to come up with something on the fly to mitigate their uh, the damages. So I let them know that I'm ready because everybody else is in the lobby. So as soon as they hit go, then we'll be there. They go. We are moving into the uh the briefing room so here we have Niwi on Empire JC is fixing his gloves as long as Kitster seems like they also cannot get the right size gloves to fit neither does side stack let's take a look over at Randalorians they are standing stoically and staring at the wall. Trying to hype themselves. So oh, oh, there goes Chewie. Chewie's trying to hype people up. <laughs> Chewie playing the sax. Trying to raise the spirits of his team. They've had a rough set of games today, but they want to end with real strong looking over at Niwi again they're just standing there just waiting 10 seconds left for the lobby and then we'll see what game number two has for us on Yavin once again, if you just joined, Niwi took game one off of Randalorians. So we're looking to see if Randos will be able to make this a split or if Niwi will take the game 2 0. So once again, coming out of the MC75, we have Randalorians. Hobbs in the standard support, Disco in a double ion, Spoon in a conch, uh, Brandon farm, Chewy farm, Kitster farm, Sidestack farm, and Autumn double ions, JC standard support, and Ska in his little interceptor. He is looking for a target looking at Brandon he's chase he's trying to shoot down his uh, multi locks but those are pulling a little bit ahead in the morale department though Niwi is bringing it back to him trouble trying to get back to the cruiser so it looks like he's for now, he's gonna chill and spit out a reset. So this is an opportunity for Randos to get something done on the PK if they want to since the Raider is out. Oh, Sidestack taking damage, is it from Disco? Well, either way, Niwi loses the open. Sidestack gets a resup. Brandon is under pressure. Gets a resup as well. And now they're moving in on one of the light cruisers. Chewie is shooting at Ska, kind of. And probably. Nope, still looking at Ska. Now looking at the cruiser. Hobbs is looking at Disco, who is probably under a lot of pressure, seeing as he didn't have any shields. Shields are down on the cruiser. Farm is slowly coming in for Niwi. 
Disco is not doing Plasburst Orbits. Instead, he is looking at Autumn, trying to peel her off of somebody. Will he manage to chase her away? He's turning his attention to damage as the morale is now past halfway and the cruiser just has half damage. Though he wants to get an easy pick on side stack to probably slow down the farm, but sadly he does not. And I think the cruiser is just about a little more than half or less than half. So JC is not going to get the marks in. Autumn is moving in. Hiding in the clouds to get the Torp off this smart. Torp lands. Autumn is very low though. Looking at resupplies, JC comes in, sends her one. Side stack looking at the Nebulon. Morale is at half, and Niwi are just starting to get damage to the Nebulon cruiser. Kitster is also doing damage out of Golos. Ska doing damage as well. The raider goes down, so there's not a lot of time left. So they they probably got about the same amount of damage done as Randall's. Actually, they might they might push this to Oopable if the farm doesn't come in like right now. Like it'll be a high oop. Come on, where's that single AI? Skull looking at Disco. Well, that, that's that's oopable. That one AI just refuses to die. What is going on on the rando side? Disco is looking at Autumn. Spoon is probably also no spoons looking at side stack. So that took a long time to get that last AI in. So Niwi definitely got that out of phaseable. But now it's time for Randos to go in and do damage. They did not take their oop. They had an oop, but they didn't take it. So if they can get enough damage done on the second cruiser, they could get the doop. Brandon underneath stripping turrets. Chewbacca has... or Chupacabra has... Um, JC targeted? Maybe JC's chasing him? I believe the raider's being looked at. It might be Autumn? No, Autumn's on Spoon. They're farming. They're farming. No, they're peeking. No, no, they're farming. Ska went somewhere. Ska docked. JC has an X-Wing shoot at him. JC's actually out of Uh, Randos might actually push through. Because they're. I don't think. Yeah, the Raider is close to being dead, but it's not down yet. So, is the Raider gonna take it? Somebody look at the Raider. What's the Raider at? Sky's not in a. Yeah, the Raider took it. Sky's not in an interceptor anymore. He is in a defender. Looking at Hobbs. Gonna try and stop the marks from going in. Nope, now looking at Spoon. Spoon gets dunked. He's in the clouds though. Gets out. He's really low. He's getting his shields back. Uh, Spoon went down. And now they are on attack, but I think a pack just came in immediately when they flipped. So, Scott and them are not in <laughs> on attack yet and they are already at half morale so this is no bueno autumn isn't in she's docking jc's trying to get in clearing the raider barely marks go in they have like a quarter morale left to work with and they are just now getting in disco gets dunked by jc's lasers autumn gets dunked I think Siren should be able to get this Oopable 
Yeah, it's oopable. Uh, Kitster is low. They got the oop. But I believe Chewie's shooting at Kitster. Almost out of laser power. Hobbs is moving in. He's low, but he has his full shields. I think he's going for a shield gen. They got both gens. They're at half morale. They burn this really quickly. They could, if, if need be, they could probably do one defense if they they have a really fast defense, but. Morale is still sitting at half. Chewie in doing damage. Though he's out of almost all oxes. Also having trouble with his targeting computer. Not really shooting the ISD. Weak points are popping up underneath. The morale is starting to come in. They've got like a quarter morale left to go. What is... What is the ISD at? Yeah, somebody pick look at the ISD. 29, this is oopable. This is very oopable. Yeah, they just need to is does it they must have stripped well because I don't see much damage coming in. So it looks like Autumn is defending because they know this is it. Uh side stack going in for a gen run. Stuck in the tractor beam. Kitster looking at, I think it's the same gen. He just came from the bag. They got one gen down. Brandon happened to go down during the oop. ISD's at 16. Shields came up but are now down. ISD's at 15. 14. Shields are still up on the MC75. So, is did JC go with them? Okay, JC did. JC's going for power instead of the shields. That's probably a mistake. He should have dunked the shields instead of power, because then... Then they could have started doing damage more easily. Disco's tethering, it looks like. Hobbs coming in with his turrets. There's... Shields back up on the ISD. The, Mer the MC's at half. But... The ISD does go down. That... It was a little close, a little closer than it needed to be, but Randalorians managed to pull it off, so congratulations to them. So, let's take a look at the scoreboard. Brandon with 50 AI, 68,000 camp ship damage. No kills on Rando's side again, but they got damage and the damage spread is not bad. Chewy, 19 AI, 39,000 cap ship damage, uh, 60 and 72,000 for the flex. Kister with 44 AI, 100,000 cap ship damage. Side stack, 40 AI, 66,000 cap ship damage. Ska with two kills, Autumn two kills. Ska with 57,000 cap ship damage. So once again, GG's. For both teams, as they got a 1-1 split on uh, Yavin. So, congratulations once again to both teams. Niwi taking a game off Randalorians is no small feat, so well done there. And good job for Randos to end the day with a win. Because they've had a, a rough um, few matches today. But they closed it out with the win. Stuck to it. So proud of them for doing that as well. We're going to forego the interviews. Because I still got some stuff I need to do tonight. So once again everybody. Thank you for hanging out. And for watching the games. I hope you all have... A good evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and I will catch you again later. See ya!